Our next guest is one of the baddest women to ever hit the boxing ring. Top three most dangerous females on the planet. Number two in the whole world. She stands <laughs> out like you can see her a mile away. Famous international boxer. Now she says her childhood was tough. Author of The Code Red Revolution. A famous professional boxer who has a regimen for her clients. Christy is a fitness and nutrition expert who's helped thousands of people lose weight and get healthy. She is so anxious to tell you what she's got to talk about. So you're not going to forget get this girl. No. It's Christy Code Red. I had to learn at an early age that if I wanted something, I had to work hard for it. I had to earn it myself. There's not a day goes by that I don't think of my childhood and appreciate every single second of growing up in Orfino. Eight years, a professional fighter, 15 pro fights. I was ranked one of the top three most dangerous females on the planet. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you straight. You know, I always do. The world needs to know. The country needs to know. We've been taught all kinds of lies for decades in this industry. What is really true? We are seriously, seriously overweight and seriously sick. Exercise has nothing to do with weight loss. It's 100% nutrition related. Abs are made in the kitchen. A pound of fat is 3,500 calories, and I burn 400 calories during a three-mile run. A three-mile run. This equals a, a three-mile three mile run. run. It would take me nine runs to burn one pound. I would blow out a knee before I would make the actual mm. dent in my weight loss. Exercise is wonderful for a million other reasons. It will not help with your weight problem. One of the lies that they tell you is that everything has to be low fat. Not true. It's one of the biggest fallacies that we've ever been fed in our society. The sugar is making us fat. The fat is not making us fat. When the food manufacturers take fat out of food, it tastes like garbage. So they add sugar and carbs back in. Sugar causes inflammation all throughout the body. Mm -hmm. Fat regulates hormones. It helps you sleep. It gives you energy. It helps your hair and nails grow. Avocados, walnuts, coconut oil. I need you to not cut the gristle off the steak. Eat the gristle. Eggs, bacon. Keep the yolk in. Eggs and bacon for breakfast? I mean, it doesn't get any better huh. than that. Yes. Motivating. That's what we need. All right. You should see the look on their face. It's shock. Let me give you some examples of what we don't want. Lots of food, lots of goodies, really high sugar things. and You can enjoy the party without a piece of cake. You do not have to settle for junk. Let me help you through the holidays. I can get you through. Yeah. Yeah. Bring Smart things that, that fit in with your nutritional guidelines. We're knee deep in it, aren't yeah, we? It's, yeah. it's constantly. Every one of us has to be held accountable for the bull crap food that we put in our mouth. We don't stick our head in the sand. We don't run and hide. We don't act like it's not happening. We own it. Now you say that this approach is a myth, the eating small meals throughout the day. That's a big line of bull that we have been fed for 50 years. Eating frequently wreaks havoc on your hormones and your system. There's nothing wrong with being hungry. That's your body telling you that it's ready to eat. It's not gonna do any good if you are not doing the basics. Put your foot down, make some choices. Everybody can do this. Everybody can benefit from it. As long as you are moving in a direction of better health, you will make it out alive.